Where the hell are we? about my um, training for this film wasn't just the stunt work. I mean, I think it was the development of my character. You know, I got a chance to work with a lot of soldiers in the U.S. military. I got a chance to spend time with them in one of their big army bases doing uh, these real-world simulations of, of, you know, what they would experience going into battle. Um, I got to work as a team with these people and make friends with them and also through this I, I met one of the few female army rangers in the US, just, just a few hundred women who have been able to pass the, um, the ranger test in the last like five years or so and um, it was amazing to talk to and, and actually we called the character Natalie after after her, her name is Natalie. She's an exceptional person and one of our close friends now. Um, and just to be able to to interview her and learn about her life and, and what made her want to become a ranger, um, what her training was like, it was incredibly inspiring for me. And it kind of uh, opened my mind to uh, living my own life in a different way and inspiring me to work harder as a person to, um, you know, just to, to, to make myself a better person, to, to challenge myself on an everyday level, to train every day, to, um, you know, to do things in my own life that, that, that I felt like I could never do before. And so, you know, I would wake up during the movie at like, you know, three, four o'clock in the morning to do a training session before we even started working. Paul came with me on these sessions, which poor guy, I mean, he works harder than anybody on set, but yet he's waking up with me to do these training sessions. But, you know, I felt like these training sessions really prepared us for the rigorous days ahead because, you know, it was really, really difficult to film this movie, but when you have to get up at three, four o'clock in the morning, to train feels like there's nothing harder than that in the moment <laughs> so it made the whole rest of the day much easier to handle and um and then you can handle it in a more positive way after that and be able you know to laugh at yourself after lifting all those heavy weights <laughs> thanks yes, guys you've made it <laughs> made it much easier well i you know i think the U.S. military is, you know, definitely one of the most powerful forces on Earth right now. And um, I think it's something where people go, oh, okay, these guys are so tough and, you know, they've got all this technology on their side and, um, you know, like, what can't they do? Well, you know, you go into the Monster Hunter world and there's a lot you can't do. Yeah, there's not much you can do. Yeah. 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 You know, so I think it's, it's going to be really interesting for people because, you know, they love the U.S. military, especially here in this country, and we respect them so much. But what's really interesting is to see, like, wow, if these guys can't handle it, what would I do in this situation? And to see my character, who's the captain of this team, um, who's got so much experience and so much training, have to depend on Tony Jaw's character to teach me um, you know, it's a real lesson in cooperation and working together and in, in being able to leave your ego aside 
to um, to learn something new, which I think is is very relevant in this day and age when ego is playing such a huge part in, in our governments, and, and uh, people aren't able to kind of leave uh, their 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 sort of egos at the door to do what's better for people. You know. And I, th I think there's a lot of hubris in the modern world where people rely on technology to solve all the problems for them. And I think that's that's a good theme in the movie is that, you know, all of the technology and all of the 21st century materials that come with Mila and her team into the monster hunter world, they're not worth a damn. You know, what, what really helps fight the creatures and defeat the creatures is kind of the strength and knowledge of the, the people from that world, you know, and... Uh, and that's part of the fun relationship between Mila and Tony is that after all of her experience of being such a great warrior, Mila's character still then has to become a student. It has to kind of go back to the beginning and learn a whole new way of kind of surviving and fighting. Yeah, and the fact that there's not one gun, no matter how big it is, that can take down one of these creatures. Again, there's, 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 a saying, there's a saying in the movie, to, to kill a monster, you need a monster. <laughs> Which is very much a reflection of the games. You need to you need to take that one monster and use a less effect of it to craft a weapon to then defeat an even bigger monster. Well, I I played the video game for the first time 11 years ago um, when I was in Japan, um, when it was really a, a very well known game in Japan that hadn't spread much beyond Japan, um, and I. I really fell in love with the the world that was created, the beautiful, stunning landscapes and these incredible creatures that roamed the landscapes. And I, I, I really had a sense of wonder. It was like, you know, watching Jurassic Park for the first time. It was like, oh, I, I just immediately felt if I could bring this to the big screen and I could do justice to the world and to the creatures, then this would be this would be a world that people really love to go and immerse themselves in for, for two hours. Um, so it was, it was just incredibly cinematic. Okay. Um, so that's really what I fell in love with, was the world of the creatures. Okay. And also I think, you know, an important part of this movie is the, the, the need to, for people to cooperate and, and to come together, the people from from different cultures, from different worlds even, and have yeah. to learn how to cooperate for the greater good. Um, because I think that's an important message for our times because we live in very kind of divisive times now when everyone wants to kind of close off borders and close themselves off from other people's opinions. Um, you know, this movie is definitely a reaction against that. You know, Mila's an amazing warrior, Tony Jar's an amazing warrior, they're from different worlds. But both of them are going to die unless they learn how to cooperate to kind of bring down this, uh, these creatures that they're, they're, they're kind of pitted against. Right. And I think that's, the, that's a good lesson, you know. It's, it's good to see people having to 